Hello, I am Max from Test Drive Blogs, and today let's have a look at this 2006 Dodge Dakota SLT. I've been wanting to get a video of a newer Dodge Dakota since I did the video of the 2000 about a year ago now, and I'm glad to bring you this one. Today, I am at Charlie's Pre owned Auto Sales in Arnold, Missouri. Be sure to check out his information in the description below, and thank you for watching. As you can tell, this truck does have a black exterior with chrome door handles and a gray leather interior. Over on the door here, you do have a handle right here, power windows, driver's window is fully automatic, window locks, door locks, and mirror controls, door handle, Alpine stereo system, and power seat controls on the side of the seat, as you can tell right here, with a manual recline. White face gauges. This is a fairly fancy one. So we'll go ahead and take the key. It has a remote on the key, as well as an extra key right here. And put it in. Close this door. Put the driver's side window down. And let's fire it up. It does have a custom dual exhaust as well. So for the interior, you have a handle up top here, vent over here, light controls, cargo light, gauge dimmer, brights as well as windshield wipers on the left stock here. You do have cruise control on the steering wheel, horn back behind with the Dodge emblem in the middle, flashers up above, you have a fuel gauge, temperature, speedometer, and tachometer, as I said, all in white face. Very cool design. This truck has 159,000 miles on it. This has a four-speed automatic transmission with tow haul mode, you press in the end here. Passenger airbag light, more vents, radio, presets, set, random, all that. Pretty simple. You do have a CD player as well. Climate control down here. You have your fan speed, temperature, and different zones. Air conditioning on the right. You do have a power outlet down below, as well as a little cubby hole, and your four-wheel drive switch on the far right. Cup holders in the middle. A little bit of storage in there. This is heated seats, two stage in the middle. You have a center console. You do have a manual dimming rear view mirror. Information center up here, USM metric, as well as your different sets. Average miles per gallon, distance still empty, trip odometer, and your lapse time. Garage link right here, lights, no mirror on the driver's side. So, turn the radio off, turn on the headlights, fog lights, as well as the flashers. And let's check out the outside. I believe that this is still the same generation, technically, as the previous Dakotas, like the 2000 I filmed. Well, the fog lights is out. Since the roof line still looks the same. As you can tell, black bumper. Do you have a headlight and a turn signal? Very angular hood. Chrome mirrors. Or chrome, uh, actually has like a chrome thing covering the outside of the mirror. I think the door handles are also the same. You can see the red pinstripe that goes all the way down the truck. These are polished aluminum wheels running on 265-65 R17 tires. 
gas cap. Does have a sliding rear window. Is the SLT package. As you can tell, custom dual exhaust. Painted rear bumper. So let's have the Magnum 4.7 liter V8. Four by four. This is actually a metallic paint as well. So we'll go ahead and pop the hood. As I mentioned, this, this Dakota does have the 4.7 liter V8. I believe it makes around 230 horsepower. So it runs nice and smooth. So we'll go ahead and shut it down. Check out the rest of the vehicle. Go and open up the passenger side. Glove box, mirror, in, hop right in the back. Speaker down below. Driver's side does have a little pouch behind the seat. Do have cup holders down below. Light in the roof, as well as two coat hooks. As I mentioned, it does have a sliding rear window as well. Truck features a bed liner as well, with the Dodge logo in the, in the front. So thank you all for watching this video of the 2006 Dodge Dakota SLT 4x4. Be sure to check out Charlie's information in the description below. And I am out of here. See y'all.